But we are the national distributor for US distributor Sile. For Sile. Yep. And Sile is an amazing machine and it fits perfectly with our brand and our mission because we're about bringing awareness and teaching this industry and bringing people in and helping yep. people start their companies. And so you're teaching them and instead of going to college, you can actually get a machine that's priced at like 29, 30 grand. And then of course you can- You can build from there. build from there. Oh, yep. Yeah. And, it, and the machines are actually great because there's a lot of machines out there. No offense on even Haas, but like some of the machines that are priced super low, they're just not that great. Right. Mm -hmm. And as you said, they're getting better and better. And this is a machine that we actually believe in, that it has amazing components. It's a great, fast machine that has some power priced at a low range where you can put it in your garage you can learn the trade yeah. you can start your company it's a great machine for doing small parts for doing even companies that have all these big dns and all that like it's a great second op machine yeah. or just mm -hmm. for smaller parts yep. and then like that bad boy right there the x5 that thing is like a robo drill like oh, everything yeah. speeds around, boom, boom, boom. And it looked, one, it, the, both of them have a one second tool change. Yep, it's, it's, it's got a Point small three. footprint, man. I mean, yeah. you can put this in your linen closet, you know? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> it is so tiny. And it's, yeah. it's got good torque and it's got good horsepower. Yeah. I yeah. mean, everything about the machine impressed me. And, yeah. you know, I really love the fact that our first real foray in the machine distribution is going to be something that's this high quality. Yeah. Yeah. That Super is great. the kicker with these guys. So it's interesting. I've, I've known these guys for quite a while because they were they were kind of like a Tormach type machine. They were a Tormach type competitor. They're completely different, though. For a long Super time. Hard. Yeah. And they started back in 06 in the U.S. And these guys, you know, for a number of years just kind of were, were doing well. They were not selling a lot. And it was about four years ago they totally revamped everything. They went to these Schneeberger mineral castings, which are an epoxy granite casting. Out of Switzerland. Out of Switzerland, yeah. which if you look at epoxy granite, the thermal stability of that casting, it's yeah. like ten times mm -hmm. This cast more iron. stable than yeah. cast iron. It's it's the dampening it's is like ten times. Yes, like it is just everybody's going to like cast iron and stuff. It's and then, been like that for years. Yeah. yeah, and then this one is like it's a beast, and you just feel it. Like I don't know if I can like solid. Like, that thing is solid. Solid. Yeah, it's, solid. It's, it's solid. Rock, man, you hit yeah. that side of that damn sheet metal, and it is not some thin gauge sheet metal. That is yeah. legit, and and they go THK guideways and ball screws. So they go Japanese guideways and ball screws. They, they literally have the quality. You go on their page, and, and I love these guys because you want to talk about passion, right? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Shu, the owner of Sile, this guy is all about this industry, loves it. And Wesley Wang, who's our, our, our good friend down in Houston, who's when I, who I went and saw when I first got here, another just great, great individual, loves the industry. The quality that goes into these things, I have been selling machine tools for 30 years. Yeah. And I've sold a lot of different brands, and and I have never seen a very well built entry level great control. Have you guys gone in this control? Oh yeah, oh man. yeah, it is pretty awesome actually. These machines, it's so easy, so clean. It too. is clean. It's easy. A lot of the complaints that we have about some of the more archaic control types, yeah. of today, uh, these don't have those issues. I no. mean, like you want to put a program on from your USB, you just hit copy. You don't even have to hit paste. It's yeah. just copy. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, it's it's super user-friendly. I mean, everything comes off of, you know, one main screen. It's super the easy. The memory is, like, everything. three to four gigs. Yeah, three yeah. three gigs. I mean, yeah. you, you could go out and spend a million dollars on a machine today, and you're going to have, like, 128 megs, you know. Right. It's like you can't even Gotta fit a dynamic. Data server. Yeah, 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 you have yeah. to have data servers. You can't fit a single dynamic tool path in this million-dollar machine. Yeah. It's like, right. is this an Atari or is this a yeah, modern right. computer? Yeah. So, like, we dumped a three-gig program earlier, and it was just blazing fast. Zip. Yep. Yeah. That's what blows my mind. It's like it's an affordable machine. But it has like a very expensive machine options, yeah, on it. or oh, not yeah. options, but like standard, standard features. Features yeah. that is that oh. you would normally get with a much more expensive machine. Yeah. Like yeah, you got spindle Amazing. orientation, and not just the orientation. You got the angular spindle orientation. So you know you want it, you want to orient at a certain angle 
for like a, a single point brooch or something. Yeah. It's already in there. I know a ton of machines that don't even support that yeah. that cost a lot more. Yeah, a lot Custom more. macros are standard. Rigid tapping is standard. The the memory is standard. They they they, they put the, you've got THK Ethernet. high precision. Did you talk yeah, about that already? Yeah, THK uh, uh, guide the ball, and ball screws. screws. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, super well, good. You get a hundred offsets, work offsets. Yep. A hundred work offsets. Yep. Yeah. Just standard. Standard. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Custom yeah, macros, amazing. standard. Yeah. On a machine that costs less than a freaking Kia. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. your, your <laughs> payment on this thing would be less than a Kia. Yeah. So It is incredible. No, they, they've hit a home run. Absolutely. They've hit a home run. Oh, it's, and it's a beautiful machine. That's what yeah. I can't get. I've seen these machines for, like I would said, uh, told you all earlier. I've been researching these machines for a couple years now yeah. about putting in my garage. And, and I knew they were good looking machines and like there was just something different about them. Yeah. Over like something like a Tormach or something. Like you can physically tell that or see that. But still, even though I've been watching these for a while, once they got here, I was still so blown away yeah. by how beautiful they are. And yeah. The craftsmanship all the way around it. Yeah. And, and that's completely and, solid. Yeah. And that's what you say. You say that's what this difference is in these last four years. Like, they know they can compete against the big boys now. Yeah. They know that, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the brands that are out there, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna have some, them, some competition yeah. on this entry-level machine. And a lot, of, a lot of the other companies are going cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Yep. And they're getting oh, yeah. more, you know, just, just Cheapening the parts. components. Like, you were talking about the weight, weight covers where they're, like, galvanized. Galvanized and, instead of steel. And then these are steel. Steel weight covers. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. You know what I think sets them apart from a lot of people? It's when Wesley came here to set the, to help set these machines up, and if you just watch his mannerisms, you watch how focused he was. Yeah. And Mister, what's the owner? Doug. Uh, oh, Doug, show. and then Mister Chu. They are so interested and so concerned yep. about making a good product. Yes. Yep. And they are, and you don't see that. Nope. Right. It's it's not. Well, how many of these can I sell? It's. I want to make a good product you and, got it. and how, do, how do I make this better? And it was like, it's very apparent that that was their uh, mindset yeah. in all this. And they want I, the yep. feedback. I mean, yeah, they want the feedback. And, and, you know, honestly, I think that's what built some of these companies, you know, one in particular, you know, Haas in the early days, they listened to their customers. They did. That's what made them a better machine people, mm -hmm. you know, when they came out in 88, I sold them very shortly after that, six years after they were being built. And we had tool changers falling off the, the casting and onto the table. And there was, they had some issues and they got through all those. These guys have been through the early days. This mm -hmm. is now their kind of hit into the industry yeah. on, a, on a large level well, i like, like to think of it like you think about it think about it like this this is the worst these machines are ever going to be yes because <laughs> they're only going to get better yes yeah. and they're only going to gain more function and they're already incredible and they're yeah. already and, incredible you yeah. know like me and keith were talking earlier a lot of them the machine tool builders especially the ones that you know people will rave about being made in america yeah now they're 90 percent foreign components they're components and yes foreign <laughs> low quality components Foreign but casting. you look at these they're they're swiss components they're Japanese, Japanese, Japanese components, components. Yep. i mean 90 percent of this machine is made in the countries that are synonymous with high quality yeah yeah agreed agreed it's fantastic and you look at the control that syntax control they you know you you can you've got a couple options you go the lnc control is their kind of entry level control and that you know maybe there's a guy in the garage just yeah, getting you could going do single phase off it you could you could go yep. single phase this machine for 19 grand nineteen thousand five hundred dollars with that entry level control wow Crazy. but then they also go this syntax which is i think the one that they probably is their bread and butter it sells probably the most but then you can go siemens as well syntax a lot of people don't know about syntax it is so user friendly. Yeah. It is yeah. so simple. Mm -hmm. And like I have never used it before. Yeah. And yet it is one of the most popular all throughout Asia. Uh, Asia it's actually one of the most popular controls. Number I think two only, to only, Fanuc. Yeah. Number only two to Fanuc. Fanuc. Yep. But a lot of people like it better than Fanuc well, just because of how easy it is. Exactly. Like you said, like you put in a program and it's like just copy, you yep. know? Done deal. Yeah. And, and, and the machines are fast. I mean, yep. these things are rapiding at like, you know, 1,307. Yeah. That guy right there is 1,377 inches per minute. <laughs> like, it's getting after yeah. it, yeah. you know. And, and 1,181 on this guy, you don't slow yeah. down too much on a larger frame. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You're, feed, you're feeding 
smoothing everything like yep. 393 inches per minute like that's Jeez. that's cooking that yeah. is cooking and it's got like 16 horsepower yeah wait, yeah wait. yeah it's got 16 horsepower yeah. like like wow. it's and it actually stays up there for a decent amount of time it sure does yeah. where you see these other guys they go like you know 200 percent or whatever and then like <laughs> it goes up and it just is like diving and <laughs> yeah. stuff if so, you're gonna do it for four minutes you yeah. right run it right right 100 percent right yeah. so that guy's t uh 10 horsepower this guy's 16 horsepower Super good. Even the foot pounds are good. Everything. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Good torque. They, I mean, I've seen a lot of the hobby machines where they have like one horsepower. One. Yeah. yeah. Like, one and a yeah. half. Yeah, yeah. Two foot pounds of torque. Yeah. It's like, what am I going to do with that? Of course, you know, Titan would go cut Monel with it, you know. <laughs> but well, like, for me, even on only times I've seen like 30,000 RPM spindles or something like anything over 12 yeah. has been like or maybe 15 is on like special machines yeah yeah yeah, yeah. specialty bought this thing's got 20,000 RPM standard yeah. that's yeah. amazing yeah yeah exactly like, wow 12 12,000 over here exactly with a 30k <clears throat> option and I don't know that maybe 30k they go to, from a BT30 which everything they do is BT30 and there are some some 40 taper options but when they go to the 30k spindle, they go to the HSK 40e right. option. Which, 40e, that's yeah, interesting. That's so, so we had Makino that was a 30k, and they were HSK, I think F. Yeah, they're e correct, exactly. So, but they didn't. Ha it's it's cool because it was like it was just a taper, and it, it didn't have any like notch Dogs. or anything for like a dog yet. Yeah, it's like it was just straight taper. So it was nice. They went really fast, great for good small tools, yep. but. Uh, you didn't want to put a lot of torque on that. That's thing, it. Right? So That's it. That, whenever you go that fast, it's all about speed yeah. and contouring yeah. super Step quick, overs, small little parts, tool. light materials. Yep, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But that's good. the thing, you know, they're across their line, they go X5, X7, the X9 and 11 are out. They're coming. And then the U5 is their five axis that's coming. X, X9 that. comes out. That's like. Mark, we'll have one. That's, we'll have that's one a 40. In, taper yep right yep oh. 40 taper 40 20 size machine we'll have one here i think in march um it's it's great and i and i just i look at this as a insane opportunity if you're mm. if you're thinking of getting into this industry there is no better place to start i've sold thousands of machines and this one is it is built amazingly well and and tool probes you know, tool yeah. setters, spindle probes, stiff spindle probes. Yeah, you name it. I mean, yeah. you know, they, they didn't forget style. anything. You know, you can get a rotary <laughs> table, you get a fourth axis with the drives, wiring, and table for fifty two hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come come is, on, it's I crazy. Think, I, think, I think that it's crazy. I think people that follow us, they know that we don't just do anything. We yeah. don't just bring in machines because people are offering us money. Every single machine Good tool call. company wants to put product on our floor because yep. it's the most visible floor in the world period and people a lot of people were surprised when i actually took out makino yeah and i took out dmg mori and we brought in uh deuce on at that time and it's not like you can't get money and do different things you know what i mean it, it was like that was me as as a leader of a company and and, and respecting the people that the community that we're working hard for that we're building the academy for it and doing all of that and then just looking at them and saying look we've done a million Haas tutorials and 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 they're all still there yeah right yeah people are still using still them still using them we're do, we've done all of it you know we've done fusion 360 they're still there but we want to keep elevating so we can teach the entire trade but for me i was like if there's a lot of people that have hosses they don't necessarily need to jump up to a Makino. They right. don't need to mm -hmm. jump up to a DMG Mori. So just because, you know, if we go there, they are going to be like, that's what I have to get because Titan sure. got it. And it's like, hey, here's Deuce on. It's just a nice step up, but it's 20 to 30 percent less expensive than other premiums, even though it's a premium brand. And it's like so there was a lot of thought that went into that. And now there at this nice high level. level yep so for us this just makes perfect sense because we're not i don't want to compete with them i don't want to compete with heller even on the higher end of course which we have a reason why we pick them you yep. know this we, we're putting our name on this brand right here because of the precision the quality the components 
and what it can do for our audience. Yep. This is this is the best machine to purchase, to start a company, to build a career, to learn the trade for this in this price range. You know, mm -hmm. I'd say like this thing's thirty something, you know, thirty to forty grand. With but options. it's competing with the sixty thousand. It's it's better than a lot of the fifty, sixty thousand dollar yep. machines out yep. there. Hundred percent better. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yep. it's like, so it's like, anything below DN, this is the guy. Yeah, you know I, mean? I would agree with you. And you know, a lot of people don't don't hear the conversations that we have off camera. But like when I first started here, I asked Titan, like, "Hey, why did you pick? You know." Doosan, why why do you why are you going with these couple of Kenna metal tools I see all the time? And the answer was exactly the same. It was like Barry, I'll only represent the things that I believe in, yep. that I believe are gonna do justice for our community. Yep. And I had the utmost respect when I heard that. I, and I, I'm happy to see that we're, we're carrying on with that same. And you can see, thank you. Yeah. And yeah. and you can see now that you've been here for years. Weird. <laughs> right? I know, right? I yeah. know. It feels like just Who knows he you can know? last that long at a place. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but but you can see it. I mean, there's a million companies that want to partner with us. Right. And you can't be hanging from like no. so many str strings and trying to please yep. everyone. You have to be very precise. And and it's not it, it can't be about money. It has to be about respect. Because once once you make it about money, if you lose the respect of the audience and and they they start looking at you and being like, hey, you're selling out, you're yep. you're this, you're that, that <laughs> you told me to buy this and it sucks. When yeah. you look, when you look at YouTube and you look at how fast our YouTube channel is growing in our different platforms, like it's built by the people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's why I love it because you can have all these companies. They're huge and they have billions of dollars, and it's like. But they can't have social media platforms because the people Both are the do. ones that yep. subscribe. Yep. The people have to love you enough to do it. And no no offense on like companies, they're just biased to their own products. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like Well, that's yeah, the other thing. It means thing. a lot. It means a lot. Look at if you have some interest in in and you you obviously can go to the link that we'll put on on this podcast to find out you know go to our store and we're the national distributor national for distributor these machines you can purchase right there send this bad boy get right here <laughs> like get a quote from them and like make it happen